Now, for some, they're a verminous pest, while others might enjoy watching them. Causing mischief in the garden, we're talking about grey squirrels, of course, and asking what can be done if one is causing a nuisance in your garden. So just how intrepid can they be? Have a look at this, you might remember it. They certainly inspire debate, judging by your emails and texts this morning. Uh, they can drive gardeners, as we know, to distraction. This week, window cleaner Ray Elliott was fined £1,500 after drowning a squirrel, which was stealing from his bird feeders. Well, the RSPCA say the ruling could lead to more prosecutions. Yes, and with us now are wildlife filmmaker Adrian Cole and Jim England from Protex Pest Control Services. Welcome, uh, both of you. Uh, you will, you'll both be very familiar with squirrels. Uh, uh, do you come at this from entirely different angles? I mean, do you see them as a wonderful bit of our sort of cultural uh, gardening heritage? And do you see them as a problem? We are, we are in agreement on some areas, aren't we? It's um, obviously from the pest <clears throat> control industry's point of view, we have to... Um, follow the law we have to stick to the guidelines that and are the laid law is? the law is you have to kill squirrels if they get into your home if you went home tonight and they were living in your roof space by law you are not allowed to relocate that squirrel if you caught it in a cage took it to your local woods which is going to be teeming with squirrels you would be prosecuted which because it, that seems because odd. they are still under legislation as an imported species they're still not classed as native so how are you allowed to dispose of you, them well you would dispatch them by um the best method is to use a trap or to shoot them but drowning is a big no-no obviously you know <clears throat> you just cannot drown an animal for the humane see adrian aspect. we're having an enormous number of, of emails and texts mm. coming in saying this is our problem. As human beings, we're encroaching on, on space mm -hmm. that's inhabited by wildlife. It's our problem. We shouldn't be killing. I mean, what is your view? Well, I think, I think that's not far from the truth. I think that, um, you know, we as a nation are meant to be animal lovers. Um, the success of shows like Spring Watch, Autumn Watch, etc., prove that point. Um, we have daily people following the shows and following the characters in the show. So people like British wildlife. Um, I find it ironic, I find it very ironic that here we have an animal that is, that is celebrated by all. We go to the park, we feed the squirrels, we take our children, we, we encourage the squirrels to get closer and closer. We feed them, we bring them closer, we take photographs of the squirrels. But then when they come in our garden or in our loft, we want to kill them. But now, to me, that's... But they do cause damage, even... don't they? Well, but, but oh, sorry, sorry, I, I, but what you can do, surely, you, I mean, you, you go into a loft, you can block the holes. You can block the holes very efficiently to stop them coming into your loft. What Adrian's saying is very accurate in so much as, you know, to preempt the problem, yes, you could block off holes. But what I've found over the years is when squirrels, being very territorial, when they get into a loft space, they will um, consider that to be their territory. So if you then come along and block the holes, what will happen is the squirrel will get back in. Trust me, he will chew through the soffit. They're very, very determined. What about deterrence? Quite a few people get in touch with us this morning talking about things you can do, particularly on the mm -hmm. bird feeders in your garden, things like uh, pepper spray. Chili, yeah, chili, chili pepper. Powder. I've heard of that. But Does I mean, that work? Do we know? Uh, to be honest with you, it's not one that I've uh, come across in the past. Adrian? You can put chili in the food. You find that, but I think you've had a, a response already where, where the, you know, the birds will take the chili as part of their bird food. Because they can't taste it. They don't have receptors that's right. to taste that's the right. chili. That's whereas right. Yeah. Whereas to a squirrel, it's quite a no-no. You know, it's quite alarming. However, it won't stop them altogether. The best thing you can do is to get something like a, like a squirrel baffler. If you, were to, if you were to set up your garden in a way that became squirrel-friendly and bird-friendly, then you've got the perfect scenario. If you feed your birds on a pole, a pole, you can buy these things from any garden centre, with your tray in the middle, it's a slippery pole, you've got what's called a, what's called a, a squirrel baffler, yeah. which is like a dome on the top, and you can also get them for the base as well. Mm. Now, if you mount that sort of eight to 10 feet away from any overhanging branches, the squirrels can't get on, it's, it's kind of a curved metal or plastic, so they, they, they can't get any purchase on there. And if you put one on the, on the base, they four foot up from the base, they can't get up from the base Because I just asked Simon mentioned earlier, the, the mm. cats. Yeah. Well, mm. a cat, well, are cats always going to deter squirrels? And he asked whether a cat could be a squirrel the cat. in a fight. Because <laughs> we've had, we've had texts coming in saying they've seen a, a cat and, and a squirrel in a fight and the cat walked away with a limp. I've, I've, I've got to tell you, squirrels are the most amazing, wonderfully intelligent animals. And if one of them is slightly perturbed by a cat or, or hasn't faced a cat off, they'll work a way to come back to that feeder. They are wonderful. We've all seen the footage where you've had the, the, the music of Mission Impossible. Dun, 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 yeah. And they've set up all these tests and puzzles 
to try and get the squirrels to get to a feeder just to see how intelligent they are. We yeah. should celebrate that intelligence. And Jim, just the last thought, I mean, we need to come back where they started with this. Mm. This man who, who drowned a squirrel. Yeah, obviously it? drowning. I mean, the best thing that anyone can do if they've got a squirrel problem is rather than take, take the law into their own hands, as this chap tried mm -hmm. to do, is we have a governing body in the pest control industry, which is the British Pest Control Association. Um, if I may plug their website, it's, they're not a commercial body. They are there to offer advice. They're the bpca.org. Um, and basically, they will put you in touch with a professional company that can deal with a problem. And I mean, as this guy found out, £1,500 is, you know, you could get rid of a lot of squirrels for that. OK, thank you both very much for that. I think we can, we're going to have a look at a few pictures now. Uh, you might enjoy these. Uh, people have sent in already this morning pictures of squirrels in the garden. This uh, from Sarah. This is in Litchfield, <laughs> supposedly. Now, you see, see, she's saying this was a squirrel-proof feeder, and there you see He's just squeezed in inside. there, whether we can get <laughs> but, out but, again. But we can't see whether there's a baffler on the top or right. the bottom. Oh, there okay. Yeah, there you so go. Is that a baffler? <laughs> That's a baffler. There you Rodney go. Rodney in Manchester but you, there. But if you go back to that shot, you can see it's not eight or ten foot away from the overhanging branches. That was quite tight on a bush. Right. OK, and this Beautiful last one... Uh, Eddie That's Lawrence. Lovely. Eddie Lawrence sent this one in, and uh, obviously we get a lot of people who are very keen on their squirrels, taking lovely pictures. Trying to talk, uh, take through you through some of your emails this morning. I know, thank you yeah, all thank you much. so much. There have been so many. We tried to do justice with those questions, so thank you very much with the emails and texts coming in. Thanks, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, time 7.44.